in regard to the legacy, um, well, there was a legacy of participation. So we worked with just under 6,000 people actually participated, which is about a sixth of the population. So they actually got involved in work, working on the project. Um, as I said, a number of new connections had happened. And we're also waiting to hear from the longitudinal study from the University of Kent with a controlled town and with random questionnaires across the community and tracker questionnaires about people's feelings about their town and community. So we've got all that still to come and that's looking at neighbourliness and attitudes. But one, I think, of the exciting things from the project is the real life legacy of eight or nine new initiatives that have come up from the local community themselves, that are owned by the local community. So these are initiatives that we've helped, who've been involved with the project, or have sprung up because of the project. So to give you an example, the local youth group has set up, because of the project, a social action group um, of doing positive things around the town. These are young people's own ideas of wanting to make their town a better place. So that's something that they were involved in the project, they were involved in cleaning beaches and painting beach huts and being involved in things and now they want to do something positive based on their own ideas. The giant picnic that I mentioned before that we ran, it's now being taken over by a number of local organisations led by Hern Bay and Bloom. They want to test out this project, not test out, they want to take on the project and make it an annual tradition in Hern Bay as part of the Hern Bay Festival. And that's happening again this year, but run by local people. Other things that have happened, we've taken on a local beach hut as a space. We've done it up working with young people and a space for reflection for local people and people who want to make a, a difference but want to get away from it or want to have, a, have a, a space to think and quiet time to reflect on how they can make that change happen. Um, We've worked with um, the adults with mental health issues to support them as they develop their own user-led cooperative. They've lost their funding through the council, um, through various cuts, and they want to now run an arts project that supports other people with mental health issues. And we've also supported um, someone setting up a community cinema and, somewhat, and, a, and a group doing oral history around the town. So these are practical, led by local people, their own ideas, and that's what makes it fantastic. One other project, which I forgot about, was that Adults with Dementia, and we've linked them with primary schools, um, running a project where it brings different generations together, and that's about understanding, but it's also about the joy of music as well. So these are very tangible and real projects run by local people. And we haven't made them happen, but what the project and the arts have enabled those projects to happen, because they've enabled space, they've enabled an idea, they've enabled people to come together. And out of that space and those ideas and those connections, these projects have been strengthened and created.